Joe Ducard here, and in this video, I want to teach you how to stop being Mr. Nice Guy. Okay, I'm a former nice guy myself. I still consider myself a nice guy, but I learned that when you're overly nice to women, it definitely kills all attraction. So in this video, I want to cover you know, the top three mistakes that guys make by being way too nice to women that kills attraction. Um, and I want to talk about the three cures that you can use you know, to overcome those mistakes. And um, so you can be a little bit more edgy and um, be more attractive to women. Now, now, this doesn't mean that you need to be Mr. Asshole, though we all know that <laughs> sometimes women are attracted to the bad boys and the assholes and things like that. But we're just going to help you do a few things that will be a little bit more edgy and a little bit more attractive to women so that um, you res they respond to you better. That's the whole point. You know, and it really goes back to what I have over here, which is, something I used to refer as the golden rule of attraction. And this is a quote from, I believe, David D'Angelo. And what it is is that what women say they want and what they respond to are two entirely different things, okay? And if you think about this, a lot of women will say, okay, I want the guy who's going to give me a whole bunch of attention and buy me flowers and treat me nice and tell me I'm pretty and, and all these other things like that. But, you know, as, as we've seen, you know, a lot of guys who wind up teasing women or, or being a little aloof or a little more mysterious actually wind up doing better and attracting more women. So, you know, this is definitely, this isn't always true, but it's very often true, you know, because you want to do the things that work, not the things that um, women necessarily always say they want on paper. There's actually, real quick, there was a study done and I believe it was the book Blink by Malcolm Gladwell, where they, they surveyed people before they did speed dating. And the women and the men, so this goes both ways, the women and the men both listed the qualities they wanted in a partner. And then a few people wound up linking up and dating. And then they surveyed the people who wound up linking up. They surveyed them about three months later and said, now what are you looking for in a partner? And they actually wrote totally different things than they had wrote, that they had written before they went on the speed date, which is absolutely crazy but it goes to show that we may think we want something but then when we find something else that we respond to better um, we find that that's the thing we really wanted in the first place so let's jump into the top three nice guy mistakes here so i sat and thought what are the three biggest things that nice guys do that kills attraction with women so the first one is definitely hanging on her every word okay we've all seen you know, or, or maybe even been there ourselves, the nice guy who's just like sitting there and listening to every single word she says, taking everything too seriously, taking everything literally. And I, and I know these guys because a, a lot of them will be um, friends or former students of mine who will text me and say, oh, she said this and, and this and that, and, and I'm so worried about this or there. What do I say back to this? And they're hanging off of her every word when they should probably be busier, you know, living their lives and doing the things that they want. Or if they're single, you know, talking to other women and not not taking every word so literally and so seriously right so that's definitely a big mistake that guys make that are being too nice the other thing is being super agreeable okay everything she says oh wow that's great i like that yeah oh that's awesome yeah you're right you're right you're right you're right and just afraid to break any rapport they don't want to break any eggs you know they don't want to rock the boat at all they're just going to be super super agreeable and oh well that leads into the next point which is not rocking the boat okay and we have uh, some sub parts here which is having very safe conversation okay what'd you do okay where'd you go to school okay nice and you know baseline conversation is okay to start to get to know someone but they're very afraid to then take it a step further okay they don't want to like i said rock the boat or do anything that um that their mom is going to say oh that, that wasn't nice you know you better be super nice and super polite and they'll never make a move okay and when you never make a move and we have safe conversation i should have added right over here you wind up in the friend zone okay the dreaded friend zone it's worse than the twilight zone so these are the three biggest mistakes and what i did here was i wrote down the opposites of these okay ways that you can act and things that you could do which are going to be the opposite of the mistakes which will help you actually build attraction in your interactions with women so let's dive into those so the three cures for mr nice guy the first cure, which is the opposite of hanging on her every word, is to break rapport. Okay, now, now, by that, breaking rapport means, you know, every now and then, if, if she says something that you don't like, you could say, oh, yeah, I'm not really that into that, right? 
or you know if you think about breaking rapport this is something that, that you've probably been in interactions with attractive women and they've probably done this to you right you, they probably you're talking to them and they say hold on a second they check their phone right or they say i gotta go find my friends or they may even talk over you at, at a moment or just bring up something that they're interested in and and not be so focused on trying to make such a great impression on you you know and you may think that okay why would i want to break rapport with the girl you know if things are going well i don't want to throw a cog in the wheel but that actually um that actually winds up building attraction believe it or not and that definitely bleeds into this next point which is to be challenging and screening okay a, a, a thing a lot of guys the biggest mistake guys make is okay the girl is attractive so that's it i'm into her there we go they don't actually screen the woman out they don't find out what other things they have going on in their lives because yeah if a girl's attractive yeah, you're going to be attracted to her but i mean attractive physically just on the outside but you know think about those things that you really want in a woman you know the things that you know if you're going to spend time with this woman and you're going to get along with her what are those things and screen for those you know for me you know does she live a healthy lifestyle does she read books is she an intelligent person right is she somebody who has a good sense of humor somebody who's open-minded to do some some uh, some new things if i want to talk on a girl and her biggest hobbies are eating junk food and getting wasted every weekend and and um taking selfies with her dog um you know that's that's probably not going to be <laughs> an optimal uh, a woman for me so that that's something that that's something that i'm gonna have to screen out for and just by the act of screening it, it triggers something in the woman it says wow this guy is actually just not flabbergasted by how attractive i am he must have been around attractive women before and he's actually looking for something else right so so it, it goes in with being challenging as well too you know back to the breaking report not agreeing with every single little thing she says you know throwing up a challenge seeing if she fits in the things that you're looking for as well okay most guys are are sold on the woman right away if she's attractive all right i'm sold that's it she's good enough and they're just hoping to that she likes them you know oh, i hope she likes me i hope she likes me well let's see if, if you actually like her she fits in with what you're looking for so that's what this point is and the third part to this is to be more edgy and i filmed videos on this before um and and it goes into a few parts here the, the the first part about being more energy is using humor and teasing okay and and just being different from the average guy so you know if the girl asks you what you do or she's asking you a bunch of questions you're not answering every single question straightforward and serious and trying to make the best impression in the world right so she say, may say um what do you do you could be like oh you know i don't really have a job actually um i've been out of work for a few years I actually just got out of prison and, um, you know, life is tough for a guy who, who just got out of prison. You know, people don't really want to hire you. I feel like Rambo in the old movie over there. But, um, you know, I got, I secured a really good box, you know, that I planted under the bridge. The, being under the bridge is good because you don't get rained on all the time. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm applying very aggressively to McDonald's and Taco Bell, and I'm hoping I get an entry-level position. You know, something like that, right? Whatever. Some, it's just something that's just a, a joke. And then the more you blow it up, the, obviously, the more... Um, she could tell it's not serious, but it's something just to be different to, it actually does wind up breaking rapport and, and just shows her that you're not taking this interaction so seriously, right? Because what is that nice guy? What is that nice guy doing? That nice guy's hanging on her every word, agreeing, afraid to rock the boat, right? And by using some humor and even, you know, busting her chops a little bit, you know, she says something like, oh my gosh, you're such a dork or, um, you know, oh, wow, you're really smart. You're like a wizard. We got to get you a wizard hat or something like that. I have all this in my flirting 101 guide you can grab from my website. It's an awesome guy. And, you know, throwing that in there will do the opposite of what that nice guy is doing. And then the money, okay, the money part of this video here is to escalate that interaction. Okay, you want to be more edgy, you got to escalate the interaction. And there's four ways that you can escalate that interaction. I teach this on boot camps. And the four ways you can do that are Number one, to indicate interest. Two, to move things forward logistically. Number three, to build a deeper conversation. And, and uh, f yeah, four here, to escalate physically. Okay, so we'll talk about these each one by one. The first is indicating interest. So this is telling the girl that you actually like her, okay, in a romantic way. Another thing nice guys don't do, they're trying to be safe and never making a move, right? And 
what you want to do is tell her, hey, look, you know, I, I like that about you. I find you attractive. I'm interested in you, right? I see guys, nice guys on text message, guys, God forbid, who are stuck in the friend zone. They'll never say, hey, look, I want to take you out or I want to go on a date with you. Um, or, you know, they'll get caught in these text messages just listening to what girls say and agreeing and this and that, but never say, hey, look, you know, let's get together, see how things go between us, right? So indicating interest shows a lot of confidence. and will definitely break you out of the nice guy rule. The other thing, too, is to move things forward logistically, okay? And you can go back to, like I said, over text message, right? Getting off the damn text message thread, actually getting in person and, and moving things forward, okay? And this, if you're doing, if you're approaching women, like I always preach, you don't, uh, you don't want to just approach her and be in the same spot the whole time. You want to move things forward. You want to maybe move her to another bar. Um, even if you're on a date, you want to move her to a, another venue and eventually move her back to your place or something like that. So don't be afraid to, to build some momentum and move things forward and make things, just make things happen in general. I was just talking to, I was training uh, this last weekend, had a, uh, some students in Miami and I was telling them that, look, if, if you're in an interaction, there's a girl you want to talk to and you're talking to three girls, but you say you're stuck talking to one girl, just, just take yourself from one area Move yourself to the other area next to the girl you like and say, oh, yeah, what was your name again? And just start talking to her. You know, set up the logistics in your favor to, um, for what you want. Next thing is to build a deeper conversation, not just the where you're from and, and um, you know, uh, what do you do and, and this and that. You know, build a deeper conversation. Find out more about her. Find out what she does when she's not working. Find out what she's passionate about. Find out what makes her tick, right? Find out... Um, you know, what brought her to the city, find out what, what, what gets her going, what her day to day is like, you know, find a little bit more about her, what she's looking for and all those things like that. So building a deeper connection with her, which most guys are afraid, right? They're, they they want to have that safe conversation and not ask any, um, they don't want to ask any important questions. And, and that way they stay surface level and they wind up in the, like we said, that dreaded friend zone. And the last part of this is escalating physically, okay? You know, put in, put in some moves on, right? If you, wanna, if you want to, you know, not be that nice guy. You know, nice guys are afraid to touch, afraid to move things forward. Oh, no, you know, I can't uh, break her space or things like that. And that doesn't mean that you need to go in and just grab her and kiss her, okay? You know, to work these things up. But um, a, a good buddy of mine just recorded a video, and he said that when people, they did a study, and... They, they surveyed people after 10 or 20 minutes, right, when they met somebody, what they thought of them and if they felt a connection with them. And in, once, in one part of the study, the person did not touch them. And in the second part of the study, they touched the other person, either on the shoulder or just something small, three times during that 20 minutes, they actually touched the other person physically. And, and that second group where they were touched physically, they, they reported a much bigger connection with the person. So I thought that was cool. I totally stole that from him and put it in the video here, but escalating things physically is going to be very important for you to, um, to stand out and not be one of those nice guys. So I'm going to zoom out here and get this whole thing on you for the screen. So this is, this is the whole thing here. So if you want to screenshot this, save it in your phone or, or anything like that, you know, this is, these are the ways, you know, to avoid those three nice guy mistakes and to use these three cures and things you could do to start standing out from the crowd, okay? One of the biggest ways to build attraction from women is to be different than all the other guys, you know, to be more edgy and, and um, you know, be different from that nice guy. You know, a lot of, most guys are in this nice guy zone. So if you can do these things, you'll definitely stand out, build more, uh, build more attraction. And, and these are, you know, guys who are good with women, they do these things naturally. So this is what you want to incorporate. So if you have any questions for me, Feel free to add them in the comments below. If you have any other topics you'd like me to cover, please let me know. And when you're ready, I will have the next video for you right over here.